Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Oying, and I'm going to be taking you through the um, introduction to Java class alongside my sister, but she's not here tonight. But I'm going to be taking you through the first three topics, and she's going to take the last three topics for the introduction to Java. So um, my name is Oying. I've mentioned that before, and I currently work as a software development engineer in test automation. And um, I'm basically a software tester. And um, I also use Java in my day-to-day -day work task. And I'm going to be taking you through the introduction to Java class today. So we're going to move on to the next slide, which is basically what is Java. So um, Java is one of the most popular, most used programming language. And it has been like that for so many years. And then um, it is simple to learn. And compared to, it is also, when compared to C sharp or C, it, the syntax are basically the same. And the codes are maintainable. And um, when compared to Python as well, the programs written in Java typically, typically run faster than um, those written in Python programming languages. And Java is also used to develop web applications, game, gaming um, apps, and also mobile apps as well. Basic tips to learn Java. The basic tips I'm going to recommend, first of all, is um, understanding the basics. That is um, the introduction to Java, the data types, variables, um, conditional loops. And also um, moving on to polymorphism, those are the object-oriented bits. And then I also recommend regular reading, keeping up to date on um, latest information on the Java programming languages. And I would also say practice, 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 um, because I've found out that um, like if you don't practice your programming languages, you tend to forget them easily. So I would recommend you practicing if not every single day, every two days, or during your weekends, if you have a busy schedule. And also, I would also say patience, because um, there are some times that when you encounter some codes, it could take more than a day to resolve them. So you just need to be patient and also um, understand what the error you are being shown means, and also trying to Google online to find recommended solutions that others could have encountered most of the time, I would recommend a um, stack overflow when you're looking for um, related solutions to whatever problem you encounter. And then um, these are some relevant study links that I would recommend. Geeks for Geeks, Code Academy, G Guru 99, um, W3Schools, and also Udemy. And I know on some of them you can create some free accounts to practice, and some are also like open source. I know most of them are open source, but there are some of them you have to um, have an account. I know for Code Academy you need to have an account, and also Udemy. And there are some of them that are, are not also free. For Udemy you have to pay for some videos, and there are also some free videos on Udemy as well that you could watch also. And then these are the topics we're going to cover. I will be taking the first three topics. That is um, the first Java programming language, which is Hello World. And I'll take you through variable data types and operative, operators in Java, and also the conditional statements and loops. And my sister will be taking the object-oriented concept, which is going to include methods, classes, objects, and constructors, and the rest. And she would also take arrays in Java, Java exceptions, and handling. So that one said, um, I would also um, suggest some um, things tonight. I'm going to be taking you through in installation of Java and also IntelliJ. I know some people would want to um, go along with me as I'm doing it. You've got the option of doing that. Or you can wait till the video is uploaded on YouTube to um, do your own installation as well. But if you've got questions at the end, we've got 10 minutes 
or 15 minutes towards the end of the class. If you've got to, if you, if you need to ask any questions, you can ask at that time because I don't want um, any questions to be make, missed um, from the beginning. So you can wait towards the end of the class to ask your questions and I'll be able to answer them to my best ability. And if I don't answer them, you can move them onto the Telegram group and I should be able to answer them there as well.